love you. Your dress. Thank you. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your inspiration to um, present your last collection a little oh. differently? Um, this season, I mean, it doesn't change all that much from the girl that I'm thinking of. Yeah. A very kind of strong, confident, multitasking, somewhat jet set kind of woman. And um, this season, I did a little bit more romanticism, a lot of lace, off the shoulder, ruffles, fringe, kind of sexy in that not obvious way. Yeah. And the presentation of it was so, so different. And tell us. Well, I, I wanted to do a kind of a hybrid of a presentation and a runway show, so um, I had the girls walking as well as standing. I wanted anyone who came to the presentation for 10 minutes to be able to see the whole collection. So that was the idea behind it. So about the very cancer research month and why we're here for Super Saturday. Yes. How do you think the fashion industry has brought awareness to such an unglamorous box? Well, I think that um, the fashion industry has been long-time supporters of um, cancers all around, but, but in particular for women, because there's so many strong women in fashion, and, you know, cancer is, you know, you can't pick who it lands on. It's, it's, it's an everyone disease, unfortunately, and anyone and everyone, and I think everyone needs to be aware, and I think the fashion industry has done a tremendous job at supporting um, Absolutely, you definitely have to be It's very important. Yeah. So you're here with the family, which you kind of I am. On. They're currently on a gondola. Oh. The boys ran away to the gondola. They so. did. So yeah, so um, you brought your family to the bed. I know family's very important to you. It certainly is. Yeah. I mean, family's everything. That's, at the end of the day, that's what you realize. The older you get, the more you appreciate and are grateful for your family. So you're going to take them shopping around and talk to them about the cause? Um, the, you know, this one's a tricky one for them to understand. Um, I'm very involved in a lot of children's causes and, and I take them to that. I always take them to Super Saturday. They've been coming since, I mean, since they were born. But I think, you know, Skylar now is starting to understand it, but he's still trying to understand, you know, the whole... Yeah. It's kind of hard to explain ovarian cancer to a four-year-old. Yeah, But he course. does know that it means getting very sick. Yeah. So that, that's about as far as I can get. You're very supportive of it. Yeah. And I, you know, and it's important for me that they're around that and that they learn. Yeah. To support absolutely. and help and contribute time and time to things. Tell us a little bit about living in style in your book. Oh, my God. Yes, I signed a lot last night on the floor of my hotel room. <laughs> I did. Um, yeah, I mean, this book was, was such a, a, a passion project for me. I love doing it. Um, I do a lot of, I, I do a book when I feel like I have a new message to put out there and more information. I think I put, I put my first book out in 2007 and then um, I kind of grew up a little bit and I had a lot more to say to people and sort of my style evolved, my life changed and I wanted to kind of talk about it. Yeah, and your career, last question. Sorry. Sorry. And your career has really evolved from the style and the middle now. Yeah. What do you think is, is the big takeaway now and the big difference in your style? Um, I'm probably more practical than I used to be because I didn't have a four-year-old and a one-year-old so I think that makes you get dressed differently every day. <laughs> um, but I think I'm also a little bit more simple, a little bit more refined than I was in my 20s because, you know, I'll still have those over-the-top ridiculous moments because I love to do that. But I think, you know, I'm a little more simple now. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yes, you too. Audrey, back.